Okay, this was my first attempt at changing out the Vila Beautiful insert in the pen because the pen has crystals in the barrel and what makes it possible to have the insert that comes with it be able to be removed and replaced is this little metal barrel that's in the inside that the crystals are around. So what I had to do was take a pair of pliers and take off the cap and the plastic end of the barrel is tapered so then I had to take a small drill bit that was just slightly larger than the opening and hand turn so the plastic wouldn't break um, out that little tip on the end to make it a little wider and then take the next size drill bit and make it even wider. So it is the width of this to where this little metal barrel will slide out. Now in the meantime, once you get this cap off, there is no plug. So when the crystals come out, you'll need a little container to put them all in if you wanna be able to put them all back, obviously. You don't wanna lose those. And then the replacement that I used uh, is made exactly the same as this as far as it has this little notched top but it's just the tip is a needle point so I wanted a smaller point on my pen so obviously the insert that I chose to go back in this pen was just a, a little bit longer so I had to trim it so once it actually fit back in here and seated at the top with this little little nub, um, it wasn't extending out the end of the pen. And so once I got done cutting or, or drilling out to get the barrel out, I had to seal it. And I just used cellophane tape because I was going to have to glue this back on. So I just used a very small... Um, piece of cellophane tape, and then just used um, Loctite. And I put it on the inside of the cap. And so when I slide it on, there's no glue that comes out the top of it that makes it all nasty and gooey because this stuff does not dry clear. It dries opaque. And you don't want to have to sand the end of this pen. So then going back to the top, I took this part off and used just a post-it note, just folded it in half, put some of the crystals in it to where I could just kind of like funnel it back into the pen. And so once I did that, I stood it up and then put the insert in. And the insert, once you get the end of the insert in the top of the pen, you can flip it because then the crystals won't come back out. They can't get past the barrel. And then I just worked it up through the crystals, just tapping them so they'd go around the barrel. And then put the cap back on. And then just tap the barrel a good bit to kind of get the crystals evenly around it. And then there we go. So if I change, ever have to change out the insert, like it runs out of ink, I just have to take the tip off, stand it up to pull it out. All the crystals will drop. And let me tell you, there's not many crystals in here. When you take that barrel out, this thing is probably about to right there with crystals in it. I mean, they're, they're literally mashed against the side of this barrel to give the impression that this whole thing is just full of crystals when it's not. I mean, in all actuality, it can't be because in order for you to have a way to have the insert in it, it's got to have space. So it just gives the illusion that it's, you know, it's it's full of crystals because you can't see the, the barrel. But it still looks nice. So now I have a needle tip in there and it fits just like it normally would. The only drawback that I learned from doing this, or the only tip that I learned from doing this, is you can't use something soft and pliers on this painted surface because it just it just spins. Um, you're going to have to use something that's more rubberized. 
So I would suggest like um, the, the, the round piece of rubber, kind of like you would use to get a jar lid off of a, uh, off a jar. Um, most, any, most everybody's got one of those in their home. Um, because I did create some slight teeth marks from the pliers. And, um, and I mean, this is just glued on the end and that there, there's nothing that's keeping that, keeping it on there permanently. It's just glued on. And so it doesn't, it doesn't, does not take much pressure, um, to get that off. It, you just have to be gentle. And that was as gentle as I could be. Uh, I did create like a, a, a slight indentation, but you know, that's something I can live with as this is being the first attempt to do this with this pen. Um, seeing if I could change out the insert um, to a needle tip um, to just get away from this size because um, in my uh, Hobonichi type planners, there's, you know, little squares, little grid, grid boxes. And, you know, I'm, and if I'm going to use that type of planner or type of paper that's got small grid boxes, I need a fine tip. And I like my Vila Beautiful pens, and I would still like to use those in that capacity. So that is why I changed, I changed that out to a very fine tip. So I could have a beautiful pen to write with and get the tip that I needed. Um, because I don't know if um, Stephanie will ever uh, make that an option to have uh, a needle point tip size that you could order through her store. But um, it's something that I'm not willing to wait for. Once I get an idea that I want to use my pens that I have spent money on that's not been gifted to me from her or anybody else, um, I just take a chance on either I'm going to end up with a product that um, is usable and still functional, or I'm just going to end up with something I'm just going to throw away. But this is how I did that. And, um, if it inspires you, um, just use the tips that I included in this video and then you will be able to change that out. Have a great day.